Hello everyone and welcome to the new 2023 Toyota Sequoia differences in the capstone with the TRD Pro trim, the Platinum, the Limited and then the SR5 model. So this particular episode will encapsulate all the specs for the 2023 Sequoia and then try and establish the differences between the capstone and the other trims and which one will be perfect for you. So if that's the reason why you're here, do not move an inch, we're just going to go right into it and we all know that Toyota Motor Corporation introduced the 2023 Sequoia to replace the aging second gen of the three row SUV that dates back to 2008. Yes, I'm talking about this particular one. Yeah, this is actually a big overhaul mechanically and aesthetically. I hope you agree. And this is vital for Toyota because the Sequoia is Toyota's range topping SUV in North America after the retirement of the Land Cruiser from the United States and has been redesigned from the ground up aims to elevate luxury, comfort and technology in its class. So let me just quickly go through how it looks. I'm sure you've seen so much so I won't touch on a lot, just a few areas. And the new Sequoia's exterior as you're seeing has an upright stance that makes it look tough right the front end that's similar to that of the latest tundra so take a look at the latest tundra and take a look back at this one and you tell their brothers and sisters in some places they say is a tundra with a roof on it there's a large grille but the designers gave the various trim levels different mesh patterns to differentiate their styling and so for example if you take the trd pro package it has wide black hexagons yes yes that and the capstone has smaller openings with mesh chrome yes that's and and so on and so forth now if you look at the headlights it comes with a wide team shape and the fenders look muscular with prominent ridge above the wheel openings the base of the d pillar angles um angles forward and the rear glass partially wraps around the side of the body and when you go to the inside let me show it to you right comes with three row seats and depending on which trim level you got the second row can either be a bench or a captain's chair. All versions of the 2023 Sequoia comes with a 3.5 liter twin turbo hybrid V6 that Toyota brands as the iForce Max, okay? And the iForce Max is a hybrid powertrain that is not yet available on the new Land Cruiser but standard on the Sequoia that we're looking at right now. And so the iForce Max is simply a, an, a V6 gasoline twin turbo engine with a displacement of about 3,445cc and an e motor, and that achieves a maximum output of 437 horsepower and a maximum torque of 80.6 kgm. That's approximately 730 Newton meters of torque, which is a good improvement. And for the first time ever, the iForce Max has an electric motor generator that is housed within the bell housing, sandwiching the engine and the gearbox, doling out those impressive numbers. And this is then mated to a 10 speed automatic only in both the two wheel and the four wheel drive variant. So the part time four wheel drive relies on a trans case controlled via a lever on the, the center console with a two wheel drive, four wheel drive high, and four wheel drive lows. And we know of this platform, the same that underpins the LC300 and the LX600. Okay, so the Sequoia features increased rigidity just as all other Toyota big size SUVs. And the front is on a new independent suspension system with a rack mounted EPS for improved steering feel. And at the back, take note, there is a multi-link rear suspension. Again, we got a, a load leveling rear suspension or an adaptive variable suspension, which is optional at the back end if you want to look at that. At the moment, we don't have the, the economy details yet, but Toyota claims that the, the figures are huge improvements over the previous generation, which are around 13 MPG for CT, 17 for highway and 15 for combined for the 4x2 drivetrains. Now, if you are interested in towing, that's good news because this Sequoia can tow up to 9,000 pounds. That's 4,082 kilograms. That's nearly 22% more than the previous generation. So if you're a tower, you definitely have every reason to upgrade to this. And there are optional power folding, extended and retracting mirrors for better visibility when pulling something. And interestingly, you've got a panoramic view monitor which offers a bird's eye view of the vehicle and its surroundings when maneuvering. And you've got five drive selectable modes, Eco, Normal, Sports, Sports Plus and Tow. And the last three 
The power trains use the electric motor to boost low end responsiveness, which is great. But before I move on to talk about the differences in trims, let me talk about the interior. The 2023 Sequoia offers a range of interior configurations. Take a closer look, including an option to fit a second row with a captain seat, which is good. There is a third row which offers reclinable backrest and can be slid forth and aft up to 6 inches, which is also great. And the cargo hold itself features a segment first adjustable cargo shelf and for the best flexibility and convenience features a 12.3 digital instrument cluster up to 14 inch touchscreen infotainment system and a 14 speaker jbl sound system moon roof and hands free tailgate which makes it an ideal and one of the best products toyota has ever put out there we hope to see same on the highlander and the forerunner right i'm sure this is the moment we've all been waiting for so let's just go into the trims and the sequoia comes in five trim levels starting with the sr5 the limited edition the platinum making three right you've got the trld pro and a capstone which is the top of the trim now all of them come with toyota safety sense 2.5 suit of tech heated seats a moon roof 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster in a panoramic view camera system having that at the back of your mind so i'm going to start from the top and work my way to the base model and the top will begin with the capstone trim so the range topping capstone trim yes this one take a good look it features a chrome accent and has power running boards yes that that interested right the suv rides on 22 inch wheels with a chrome finish when i take you inside there is a semi take a look aniline leather upholstery with a black and white color scheme you've got american walnut open pore wood trim that decorates the cabin yes yes beautiful beautiful and the acoustic glass in the front doors and extra sound deadening which makes this model quieter for passengers than other grace of the sequoia that is to tell you that these things are exclusive to the top model but all these things are in addition to everything that you have on the trims below the capstone that's platinum limited sr5 sr5 premium you have everything plus what we have um, discussed for the capstone trim now let me quickly jump onto this one yes that is a trd pro you've seen around it looks beautiful and i love it the trd pro trim is is a trim level for folks who really want to go off-roading so are you that type then great listen to this carefully it packs Fox internal bypass shocks, that one, yes. And a 0.25 inch front skid plate. You've seen that too for your off-roading. There is also a lock rear def, a multi-terrain select crawl control and downhill assist controls in there. You also get to enjoy aesthetically an LED light bar, which is part of the front grille and a storage rack on the roof. And you drop down in terms of wheel size to 18 inches, um, which is blacked out and have an increased offset for a wider stance you've got dual exhaust tips which are part of the, the package and you've got solar octane exterior color which is exclusive to this grade so this is exclusive to the trld pro plus everything on the trims that are down below it so you look at the premium you look at the limited and the premium um, sr5 sr5 premiums okay so that is what we've seen which makes it beautiful i would suggest that you either get a trld pro or a capstone Anyway, if you are interested in Platinum, let me hit on the Platinum. So the Platinum improves upon everything that is on the limited edition. So it improved on the limited with a second row captain's chair that are heated and ventilated. A 14 stereo speaker. You've got the panoramic sunroof. You've got heads up display, the QI wireless charging and rain sensing wipers. And interestingly, you also get headlights that headlights and taillights that use LED illumination. So everything on the limited plus what we've mentioned is what sets the platinum apart from the limited edition. And so finally, let me treat the limited and the SR5 together because they are a bit tricky and they move closely around a few of those changes. Where the standard SR5 trim has an 8.0 inch infotainment display. The SR5 Premium enlarges the display from 8.0 to 14 inches, which is good. And so it has power folding, third row seats, hands-free opening tailgates, and a 120 volt power outlet in the cabin and the cargo area, which is interesting. 
but again when you take the sr5 models you can have available trd sport package that you can put on and the trd sport package that you can put on the sr5 model includes the bill stain model tube shocks yes that you've also got revised tuning for the springs and the SUV will ride on a 20 inch mud black wheel rather than the standard 18 inch that sits on the regular ones. Again, the limited here grid as the SR5 Premium adds on the SR5 Premium with heated and ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel and sun shades for the second and third row. And there's a four wheel drive version of the SR5 and the limited which are available with the TRD off-road package and those off-road package would include the following just just take a listen a good listen it includes a lock rear diff you can also downgrade to an 18 inch wheel for uh, for the off-road pack and then you've also got the multi-terrain select system the downhill assist control and you got crawl control there is also a bill stain shocks and revised springs that you can put on the sr5 on a limited with a grd off-road package and interestingly um this is what sets these ones apart so it depends on you and what you want to go for but i would suggest you spend a dollar to put the trd pro on or better still the capstone in any case it's up to you but 2023 toyota sequoia will be on sale this summer and will be built in texas san antonio pricing will be you know available closer to lunch and i'm going to put a summary of everything i've done at the end of it so you can just go through if those were any of the things that you were looking for and this is what we got for you have a great day thank you so much and bye bye for now